Hey, how's it going? I'm Dennis here, and today we're going to go over basically our newest tool, which is the Decision Letter Analyzer. So you can come here to Decision Letters, and you can click Analyze New. So this is what you should expect to see. And from here, you can actually go ahead and you can upload your latest decision letter. Um, so I'm going to pick this one. And on this one, there are two uh, disabilities. It should be migraines and hypertension, but again, we'll we'll see what it comes up with. Uh, this portion right here can take a while, depending on how long the decision letter is, uh, but a lot of times it doesn't take more than 30 seconds. So we'll see how long it takes, but I'll probably just cut the video. So here we are. That took about 45 seconds on that one. Again, it may take a little longer, but uh, just so you guys are aware. What you're going to see now is basically this dashboard. It should say how many conditions there are, which ones were approved, denied, and uh, basically what we consider to be a strong or weak claim. You can scroll down here and you can see all the different uh, items that came up. In this case, we had migraines and hypertension, just like it should be. And here you can actually see uh, some additional information. And by the way, if you ever get confused, you can always hit this tutorial button and basically a tutorial will uh, start up so that way you can actually walk your uh, walk through it and skip that. Okay, so on migraines, for example, you can always open this back up. You can see, you know, there's really no actions um, that are required because it's an approved claim. Over here for hypertension, you can see it was denied. And this is our way of queuing people in to how many uh, reasons or elements you were denied on. So you can see three dots in general, most VA claims require three elements. Looks like you had one approved and two denied. So specifically that was the service event. So there's nothing from service and then a nexus specifically. So if you click that, you can actually see the same thing right here. And more importantly, uh, we give you a action plan that you can go implement to help you out uh, with that denial. So for example, again, there is no nexus. So you can say establish a medical nexus. What can you do? You can ask a doctor to write your nexus letter. You know, it's gonna take a little bit of time. You can generate uh, some sort of AI assistant nexus letter using veteran AI or whatever you wanna use, but we can obviously do that on our site. Um, you can get basically an independent medical examination. So you can get like a private DBQ with a nexus opinion attached to it. Uh, and then the other part was basically prove service connection. So there's a lot of different things you can do for this. So, you know, give us some feedback in the comments if, you, you know, we missed something. Uh, but it is, there's a lot of things you can do. One of which is gather your service records. Maybe the VA didn't have them for some reason, or maybe they're missing some. Uh, so you, you can go out and get those. Uh, buddy statements, collecting some additional buddy statements, and then documenting the service connected incident. So I get yourself like a personal statement to help document this. This could also be uh, other kinds of uh, unit records. You can see right here, deployment information, basically anything that can prove that this happened to you in service. Okay. So again, the whole idea here is to give the um, average veteran uh, a little bit more knowledge on what they need to do to get a denied claim approved. Okay, so uh, what is really important if you've been around with us for a while, uh, if you want this to set the app up in some way, so do something within the app, uh, we default to, you know, you have to tell us you want us to save this. So basically selecting these two, you can see here that these two disabilities are set to be synced. So at this point, you can actually go here and hit save selected, it gives you one final chance to say, hey, we're gonna be creating all this in our system. And then you can create two disabilities and then bam, you have yourself two disabilities. At this point, uh, you know, again, I'll try to link a video in the description somewhere where you can go over how to create like a personal statement or how to create a Nexus letter. You can do that now through this interface. So at any time, if you wanted to uh, review a past decision letter and see what actions we uh, recommended, uh, you can come here to decision letters, you can hit view all, and you can actually view your past decision letters right here. So this is the most recent one. You can always click on this and you can see um, additional data that we gathered on here, okay? 
And one little last little bit, you can see here now it's linked to this disability. Um, if you're doing this for a second time, so let me give a quick demo of that. Uh, let's say that you already had migraines in the system. So let's go ahead and just like reanalyze the same letter just to show you how this works. Okay, so we just got done rerunning uh, the same letter, just kind of show you what can happen. Uh, so the system will attempt to match disabilities together. And for this case, you know, we kind of simulated, hey, it didn't match it and it did match it. So that way you guys can see. So if it is matched, you're gonna see this link to a known disability. And you can see here is linked to hypertension in this case. Now, what is important to know is this one wasn't matched. So if you ever come across uh, a disability that you know is in the system, and for whatever reason it wasn't matched, you can always hit the link button. And you can come here and you can select migraines. And you can link and update. And basically what that does is that actually links the two, uh, basically this disability to the disability in our system. So IE, you know, the, the approval rating went up, you know, our system will reflect that. If the name changed, like the VA gave it a slightly different name, you know, we'll update the title to reflect what the VA has in their system. Um, at that point, I always uh, recommend you basically save the selected uh, uh, bits. And again, that should make sure everything is updated in our system. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much it. So right there is uh, our newest uh, feature, which is the decision letter analyzer. Uh, everybody, just so everybody understands, uh, it is free uh, for the first one, and then everything else after that would be on the pro tier. But again, you know, if you are just starting your VA claim journey, uh, you can always sign up under the free tier and get quite a bit of help uh, for absolutely nothing. So. Um, again, let us know in the comments if this is something that is helping you. If uh, you know if it's not, let us know why. You can always join us in Discord right over here, and you can give us some feedback as to what we're doing well, what we're not doing well. And uh, we look forward to what you guys have to say. Take care.